everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am avoiding the mowers that come into our neighborhood here. I paid for by the Homeowners Association and they are in here mowing today. Oh my goodness. So I am following Chris. I'm gonna go ahead and do a car chit chat today, just in case it takes me a little while longer than I thought it would to get my mix and match video together. You guys honestly might not see that for a few days here. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. We are, I'm gonna to try to get this up this evening. And then I'm gonna to try to sit down tomorrow and uh, start editing that. Oh, I need to sit and talk about it and edit it and then edit it. So, and Chris and I need to take a trip to Ikea sometime during the day this week. And I'll tell you why that is here in a second. And I have a nail appointment on Wednesday. So I've got a hair appointment. As you can probably tell, my hair is newly washed. I always wash it the day I go to get my hair did. And so it's newly washed and just blow dried. This is my hair with not one curl in it and with uh, not one product in it. <laughs> this is how my hair looks. And as you can probably see, I need to get some color there on, you can see my part. Uh, I will say, I wanted to let you know this too. I was having some trouble with my hair, uh, losing some of my hair a little bit uh, a while back not that I was losing a ton of hair, but I think we all go through it, ladies, y'all know as we age, and I, I had some spots that were not wanting to, you know, look as good as they used to. Um, I have thin hair anyway. I've got a good bit of hair, but, I, but it's very fine and thin, as you can really tell by looking at it with nothing, no products or anything in it. And uh, so I started taking some biotin. I started taking just buy a tin pills and I take 10,000 mm a day. I, I researched it and that's what's uh, recommended for we ladies here. So, and I have noticed a difference. I really have noticed a difference in the, the health of my hair. Plus I, I, as you know, I condition and I use uh, the heat protector and all that stuff on my hair all the time. This gentleman, he's out here, bless his heart. He's out here just a, walking away. Um, so anyway, I've noticed that my hair is, is filled in a little bit and I'm not, I'm not seeing that, uh, delineation. Well, I am seeing the gray delineation mark, but it's not quite as, uh, thin as it used to be up on the top of my head. So I'm very happy about that. I am not suggesting that you do that. Not at all in any way, shape or form. I just decided to do that for my hair. And so I did it. Plus I've been through a very, very, very stressful time here, you guys. And I don't think that has helped <laughs> at all. <laughs> so anyway, I'm very happy with uh, how it's, uh, you know, responded to the biotin. Very happy about that. Uh, uh, so today I'm going to get um, just a color and trim done today. Uh, it's very blonde right now and I love it, this blonde. And uh, But <clears throat> I don't think that, uh, I, I just want to put my base color in and we are right now as light as we can go without, I guess using bleach. I'm not sure what all I need to get, uh, ask Sandy about that. Um, so I, I also like to have a little contrast in my hair. I'm very blonde from my cruise right now. And I, you know, I like it to look a little bit, uh, you know, I love it blonde. I will say that I do love the blonde, but I do like it to look, you can see how it looks. It's, you know, underneath how it's a little darker underneath. So we'll see what it looks like. And she always does such a good job when, uh, when I'm, of styling it and everything. So we'll see what she does to me today. <laughs> anyway, I'm following Chris. We're on our way to Arby's. Today is Monday. We go to Arby's on Monday and I will just get my same thing I have every Monday, my roast beef with no bread, roast beef sandwich with no bread and a order of uh, curly fries that Chris and I split. And they 
did away with his fish, so he's not happy with that. So he gets the chicken sandwich. And two for six, I think it is. Two for six or two for seven, whatever it is. He gets the, uh, sorry about my necklace there. He gets the chicken sandwich and he gets uh, mozzarella sticks. That's what he gets. So my outfit of the day before I move further is uh, my fun pair of ankle pants. Unfortunately, they are not available from Avenue. Uh, I got them from Avenue. They are uh, several years ago. I'm just got recently gotten back into them for this year. And oh my goodness. And I love these. These are some of my favorites. As a matter of fact, I have them. I purchased them in a smaller size when they were available. So I actually have, these are like a 16 and I think I have a 14 in a bin <laughs> that's in my closet. So I haven't tried them on yet. These still fit nice. So I'm not going to I'm not going to mess with trying those on quite yet, but uh, just these ankle pants and a black cold shoulder sweater, lightweight sweater, short sleeve, as you can see, and uh, got this at Avenue 2, and it is not available right now. I'm terribly sorry, you guys. These are just an idea of, you know, an outfit to put together. Uh, I have these cute little earrings uh, match the uh, ankle pants to a T. I love them. I got these from Amazon. They are in my Amazon fashion box. And this is my regular black necklace that you all see me in more, more in this than anything else. Uh, same rings. Say, well, I do have a little uh, pink ring I got from Timu a while back. I did throw that on my forefinger. Uh, but everything else is the same. My anniversary ring and bracelets and watch are the same. Uh, I was thinking of combining a uh, little tour of my Brighton jewelry along with that mix and match video. Let me know your thoughts about that. Would you guys like to see, I mean, you see it on me all the time, but would you like to see all the different pieces that I have of Brighton that I have been collecting for literally 25 years and it is still in really good shape. So just let me know about that if you'd like to see that. Now, the reason we're going to Ikea is that I, ch and I will be able to, this is another thing I have for next week, I guess. I'm going to have a, a haul for you guys. I ordered a new uh, comforter and pillow shams from Amazon to go up in what was once the happy room. And I did a blue and white plaid, not buffalo check, not buffalo check. It is like a lodgy plaid. And I'm keeping the white curtains. There's white curtains up there. I'm keeping the white curtains, but we are going to, and I got a throw and I got a little pillow with a bear on it. <laughs> and I got some Euro shams in like a, a blue to match. I hope it'll match. Anyway, we'll see. So I'm going to haul all that for you. And we are taking the shams and going to go match the blue color. And that's what we're going to paint the one wall. Uh, as you walk in the door and you look straight ahead of you, we're going to uh, paint that one wall. And uh, then Chris is going to paint around a mirror frame that he painted pink when it was for the happy room. And I have an orange shelf up there, beautiful shelf that I got from Home Goods years ago. And he's going to paint that blue. We're going to paint that blue. Then I have that big palette uh, framed thing that Chris made with shiplap that will probably go over the bed and I think I'll either find pictures online of bears but I think what would be cuter is each one of those frames on that board I think if I can find a picture I'll put it up here um, each one of those frames is removable and I could remove the pictures or change the pictures out and I got somebody here with lots of branches and stuff in his in his trailer who is got his blankers or got his flashers on. Um, anyway, I could remove, you know, I can change out all of those pictures and I had the little woodland creatures in there for his nursery when it was made up as a nursery. This is the room that Maverick is going to sleep in. Have I said that? I don't think I've said that. I'm ramb rambling along here. So anyway, I thought it would be cute to take some of our favorite pictures, family pictures. Uh, I could do bears and things like that, but I thought it would be more personal you know if I put like pictures his favorite pictures of Gigi and Papa and him and he and his mom and you know and everything else so I thought I would do that up there in that frame so 
I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. I need to go to Hobby Lobby. They have a whole section with bears. So I need to go there and start collecting some things. But why we're going to Ikea is we need two bedside tables. I want two white bedside tables. I want a tall white dresser because that room is, had a dresser, but it was in a dark cherry and I don't want that. I want white. So I want to get a tall dresser and uh, then because I want it to be able to be moved from one wall to another just in case I want to add like bunk beds in there to accommodate more people sometime in the future so I don't want to pigeonhole myself into having to have that dresser on one wall only so and then I want to get a bookcase a white bookcase so Chris and I are going to go to a Ikea I don't want to spend you know copious amounts of money to do this so we are going to go to Ikea one day this week. So my days are filling up. So I'll tell you what, you guys, I will put up my videos when I can, obviously. And it's good that we're so busy. It is a good thing that we are so busy. And that's by design, you guys. That's by design. We are trying to keep ourselves busy. Chris has been outside working on the plants and uh, he bought two palm trees. Oh my word. I don't know whether he's gotten them planted yet in his big pots. He's painted two two pots that we had, so I'll show you that when he does that. I don't think he's done that yet, but he put the hibiscuses in prettier pots and so on and so forth and getting ready to open the pool. We're waiting for the pollen to stop <laughs> dropping before we open the pool, so that'll be in the next couple of weeks, though. But we're, you know, he's busily about out there. I'm busily about rethinking the, you know, not anything with the purple bedroom except for uh, I'm just changing out the bedding, literal bedding. And I did end up having to get new pillow sham or bureau shams for up there because those purple ones that I had on the other side did not, boom, my goodness, they clashed like crazy. So I did order some. So they'll be coming. Uh, so I have a pretty big haul coming to show you guys all this stuff too from Amazon. Oh my word. It's just crazy. You know how much, um, you know, life, life has a way of, of marching forward. Doesn't it? You guys, it, it, it does. Even though I, hmm, I guess they call it survivor's guilt, right? You know, I guess they call it survivor's guilt when you, when you, you know, I don't, sometimes of course I would never contemplate suicide or anything like that ever because I just I don't believe in that you know but I'll tell you there were times when I was like well I should not be here Kristen should be here I should not I want to switch places with her right now right now you know and of course that is something we can't do you know and we just have to accept and have faith that there was a reason he needed her in heaven, you know, and uh, he may have something planned for, for me or Chris or us together. I got somebody pulling out right in front of me. Uh, and, you know, I just don't know his plan and we are not to know his plan, you know, so I just have to go through each day of my life and try to, to, to soldier on, you know, as hard as it is. As hard as it is to soldier on, but it, it is very difficult. So, uh, some days it's very difficult, but it is easier when I keep myself busy. So, that's why I went ahead and did this car chit chat uh, because I wanted to keep myself busy and I didn't want y'all to have to wait if I'm going to have to put off that mix and match. Uh, I was planning on doing that tomorrow to put it up by Wednesday when I get my nails done, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so crazy busy, <laughs> which is a good thing, as I said. But anyway, we are almost to Arby's and uh, I don't have anything else to let you guys know about, I guess. Really, we're just kind of going through our days as they come and uh, the weather is beautiful. It's supposed to be 75 degrees already. It's supposed to be up in the 80s, I believe, today. Woohoo! Finally. Oh my goodness, I feel like this spring has taken a while to, 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 to spring, you know? Spring has finally sprung, I think, and uh, we are marching towards summer now, which I wish it would stay spring for a little longer, I don't care. Here in Virginia, it gets to be 100 degrees with 
100% humidity and I'm not even kidding you. It gets so stinking hot here. And uh, thankfully we have our pool and we will be spending copious amounts of hours out there enjoying that pool for sure. So, but anyway, I don't know whether I'll take any pictures of myself getting my hair did uh, or anything like that, but I will come back when I'm finished show you what it looks like and do some final words and tell you anything else I think about. So, uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free. Oh, I did have a question. What was it that I wanted to talk to you about? And I can't remember. Oh, one of you asked me if I knew where or knew the name of the green foliage I got the other day and I did check and I could not find your comment again. So I'm so sorry. And I know you're somebody who watches me all the time. So hopefully you will you will hear me say this. It did not have a label on those green, on that greenery. I am so sorry. It did not have a label. So I just do not know what that's called. Maybe somebody else can remember. If I have a picture of it, I'll put it here so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, maybe I'll know what it is. You could tell her, but uh, I do not know what it is and they did not have a label on it. I'm so sorry. So Alrighty, we are here at Arby's almost getting ready to pull into a parking place. So I'll let you go and I'll be back when I get my hair after I get my hair did. All right, see you in a little bit. Bye. I'm back in my car and I am absolutely thrilled with what Sandy did and I showed you a few pictures there in between uh, when I said goodbye the last time and this time and that is Sandy. Sandy is my uh, stylist and she is absolutely beautiful inside and out. I absolutely adore her. If any of you are from around here and need a new hairstylist, here is her card. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that and she is taking new clients and she is absolutely superb style and grace she is wonderful you guys so highly recommend her she's a wonderful colorist and stylist obviously and is so personable and wonderful and i just adore her just tell her i sent you huh she's absolutely wonderful absolutely wonderful so anyway i love what she did she just uh put uh, you know touched up my base color and trimmed me up i didn't get i just got about a half an inch cut off and uh she did a fabulous job it's so cute so so cute so i love it and it is now 86 degrees here in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Do you believe that? 86 degrees. It is hot. And I have a black car and it is hot in here. Hot, hot, hot. So I'm on my way home now and I am going to try to go ahead and edit this and get it up. And then that'll be it until maybe even the weekend, you guys. I'm not sure when I can pull together my uh, mix and match uh, video. You guys, I'm loving preparing for it, but I have been taking pictures and I am, I just this morning got them into little folders uh, so that I can talk about, let's say, I have all black on underneath and to show you different tops, different jackets I've worn with them or kimonos or if I've worn uh, pattern pants, what I decided to put with them in different looks like that and you know, things like that. I just wanted to, you know, I, I, I do have some things to pull together and with going to Ikea and, uh, I'm not sure when it'll go up. It may go up on Wednesday or it may not. It depends on if I can get it edited tomorrow, you guys. Uh, I have tomorrow free, so I may be able to get it edited. We'll see tomorrow. I have to record it though as I'm editing and going, you know, so I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, I'll work on it and we'll see how far I get. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's been a good day today. I'm just gonna go home and do my editing and then we'll eat dinner and uh, then settle in for the evening hours here that today on this nice hot day here in Virginia. My goodness gracious. Uh, but 
I think that's about all I'm trying to think if I had any other questions. I don't believe I did uh, have any other questions that I could answer at this time. I will say this, if there's any other, you know, subjects that you'd like me to talk about, uh, like my, like this mix and match uh, video that's coming up, I'd be glad to try to work something up for you. And as I said, let me know if you would like to see my Brighton collection, my Brighton jewelry collection. I do have purses too, some, but uh, my jewelry is what I'm asking in, in this particular video. So just let me know about that. And I may add the Brighton jewelry in too, to that, to that video. So I will just show it to you, you know, uh, but anyway, I guess that's it. So let me ask you since uh, very humbly if you would consider subscribing I would really appreciate it again. You guys told me the other day again that uh, a lot of you were unsubscribed again I don't know what the world is going on with YouTube. I have no idea what in the world uh, But if you could please check your subscription and resubscribe it is free it is free to subscribe then click the notification bell and watch my video all the way through and share it and click the thumbs up click click the like so I would really appreciate it I would love to invite you into my YouTube family of course I'm still trying to grow my channel and with all that said I will go ahead and go into my final words here and say thank you all for stopping in here today for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.